Understanding the Louisiana Developmental Screening Guidelines. In this video, we will cover why there are Louisiana specific developmental screening guidelines, from their creation to the 2020 updated recommendations, what is included in the recommendations for periodicity and screening tools, and where you can find more information about implementing the Louisiana Developmental Screening Guidelines. First, let's discuss the origin of the Louisiana Developmental Screening Guidelines. In 2015, a cross-sector work group of content experts called the Young Child Wellness Collaborative came together to develop specific guidelines that acknowledged the American Academy of Pediatrics periodicity and took into consideration the unique challenges that Louisiana children and families face. For example, Louisiana children receive less developmental screens than the national average, and our state has one of the highest child poverty rates in the nation. The most recent national survey of children's health data show that almost 30% of parents reported completing a developmental screen for their child between the ages of 9 and 35 months, compared to almost 37% nationwide. Similarly, the poverty rate for children in Louisiana has remained relatively steady from 2010 to 2019. Around 27% of Louisiana children currently live at or below the federal poverty level, meaning that children and families in Louisiana not only need the AAP recommended screens, but those that also consider the additional barriers to health that children and families in Louisiana are facing. The first Louisiana Developmental Screening Guidelines outlined five domains for screening and recommended a limited list of screening tools for those particular domains. In 2020, this work group reconvened and their charge was to ensure that the Louisiana Developmental Screening Guidelines were following the latest evidence in terms of both the American Academy of Pediatrics and Bright Futures recommendations, as well as the developments in the literature around screening tools. This process prioritized ensuring that domain names were accurate and did not include jargon or stigmatizing language. For recommended tools, the work group reviewed the literature to confirm that tools have good reliability and validity evidence for use in samples at least similar to Louisiana. Before we dive into the latest Louisiana Developmental Screening Guidelines, it's important to note that these guidelines are in alignment with the American Academy of Pediatrics periodicity. For general development, the guidelines match the AAP recommendation for periodicity for screening at 9, 18, and 30 months. The recommended tool is the Ages and Stages Questionnaire, third edition, as it has been well validated in samples that are similar to Louisiana. For autism, the guidelines also match AAP by endorsing screening at 18 and 24 months. We recommend using the Modified Checklist for Autism and Toddlers, revised with follow-up version. For perinatal depression, recommended screening is in full alignment with the AAP at the 1, 2, 4, and 6-month visits. For perinatal depression screening, we endorse utilizing the Patient Health Questionnaire 2, or PHQ-2, as well as the PHQ-9. The Safe Environment for Every Kid tool includes the PHQ-2, which is why it is included as a recommended tool for perinatal depression. The work group also noted that it is recommended to screen non-birthing caregivers for perinatal depression as well. Importantly, these three domains, general development, autism, and perinatal depression, are now being reimbursed by Louisiana Medicaid. More information is available about reimbursement in any of the basics videos of these tools, and a link to the reimbursement statement is in the description box below. Where the Louisiana Developmental Screening Guidelines go beyond the American Academy of Pediatrics is in our recommended periodicity of social-emotional screening and barriers to health or social determinants of health. For the social-emotional domain, guidelines recommend screens at 18 months, 30 months, 36, 48, and 60 months. The recommended tools include the Brief Early Childhood Screening Assessment, or BRIEF-EXA, 
and the Ages and Stages Questionnaire, Social Emotional, Second Edition. By design, social emotional screening tools start at the age of 18 months, and therefore provider developmental monitoring through milestone checklists and the personal social domain of the ASQ3 is the recommended method for monitoring social emotional development from birth to 18 months. For barriers to health or social determinants of health, we recommend screening at the one, two, four, and six month visits, as well as annually at 12, 24, 36, 48, and 60 month screens. The recommended screens are the safe environment for every kid, as well as the survey of well being for young children, family questions. The SEEK does include PHQ2 which is why barriers to health screening is recommended at the perinatal depression periodicity and then annually. If you're wanting to learn more about how to implement any of these guidelines into practice, you can check out the description box for links into our developmental screening toolkit, as well as the Louisiana Medicaid Bulletin for reimbursement information for general development autism, and perinatal depression screenings. The toolkit includes a series of videos to walk you through the basics and how to score each of the recommended tools. We also created a video on how to use our region-specific developmental screening resource guides with families, as we know that screening and making successful referrals are key to better outcomes. These guides can help providers connect families to the appropriate referrals and resources when a screen indicates a need for further evaluation or services.